family love you very much indeed. Your family love you very much indeed. When you do something wrong, you get punished for it. But then you make it up in the end. Because your family love you very much And you will never let them go Because you belong to a family They love your family very much indeed Your family love you very much indeed Do, 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 do The police officer said to Dick, get out of the pool. You are in a lot of trouble. You are in so much trouble. Dick said, okay, I'll get out of the pool. David's mom was not very happy with David. David's mom said, You woke me up when you snuck out of the house like, in the middle of the night. I couldn't get so sick. I did not know what happened. And then I had a phone call from the police like, and they told me anything. I'm not very happy with you, David. What is the problem? Is it because of dad? Is it because we lost dad? Is that what the problem? David said, No, it's not because of dad. It's something else. David's mom said, you know, honey, I don't want to hear it. This is a bad day. Like, we'll deal with this in world. It was a lovely Saturday, honey. And it was a sunny day, honey. It was lovely. Pierre and Dean asked if they could have their friend Jane over. David's mom and Peter's mom basically said, Well, David, last night, uh, you got you got yourself in a little bit of trouble. Well, I haven't said it on your pun yet, so basically I'm going to allow you to have Jane over. David said, Thank you. Peter and David uh, had Jane over, and they were in the room, and they were talking about it. Right? And Jane said, I heard what happened to you last night, David. So why did you break into that, uh, gay resort? Dean said, well, I heard somewhere uh, in, about the ma mountain being magical, uh, I wanted to see who was true. Dean said, you don't actually believe that, do you, Dave, that the mountain is magical? Dean said, yeah, I do. He said, I believe you. Dean said, I believe you too, but isn't it kind of risky what you just did? Dear said, I know. Jean was playing over for dinner, and they had dinner afterwards Jean went home. It was night time, so David and Pierre watched television, but basically David ran off to his room, and Pierre followed him. Peter said to David, don't you want to watch television with me? What are you doing? David said, I want to go to that mountain again. Peter said, don't you remember what happened? You got caught by the police? Oh, you know, a chief? And you got in trouble? David said, I know. But I, be I strongly believe that that mountain is magic. And I want to prove, I want to see if it is magic. Peter said, okay. Well, what are you going to do about it? Dear said, I'm going to that mountain. Well, Peter said, okay, I'll go with you, if that's what you want. David basically threw something at Jane's window to wake Jane up. Jane woke up and said, what do you want? David said, we're going to Black Mountain. Do you want to come? Jane said, aren't you going to get in trouble like last time? David said, we know, but we want to see if the mountain is magical. Jane said, okay, I'll go with you. David said, okay gang, this is the path that leads to Black Mountain. I cut in a hole of the last time. So Jane, do you want to go first? Jane said, okay, I'll go first.
When Pierre looked behind, he noticed that his sister was there and the entrance to the cave was closed. So he told David the entrance to the cave was closed. David looked behind and said, yeah, you're right. So what do we do, guys? Pierre said, how about we keep on walking till we find a way out of this kit? David said, okay, that's a good idea. Pierre and David noticed that they left her sister crying and they asked her, what's wrong? And she said, I think we'll never see my mom air again. So I said, I think we're just going to die in the cave. David said, don't say that. Pierre said, don't say that. How about a little song we'll sing her up? Pierre said, okay. He said, let your head on my shoulder and don't get upset. We will make it through. <laughs> we will make it through. Just hold my hand tight and wrap your hand on my shoulder, and we will make it through. We will make it through. Pierre said, "Jane calling us. She's telling us to find a way out of the cave." Jane said, "Let's go to it." Pierre said, "Yeah, let's go to it." Kiss and let go to it. Jane said, Why is there a door down here, David? Dear said, I never went in the cave. I got caught before I went in the cave, remember? Oh, remember what happened with me? Jane said, How about see where the door leads to? Dear said, Okay, let's see where the door leads to. That makes sense. Basically, they opened the door and then they went through it and they noticed something. It looked like someone's house, which is why the hair is probably probably because someone lived in the cave or in the mountain, is what they thought. And they said they would keep on flooring, I mean, is what they would do. The gang basically came to a point where they were hitting underground river and then they noticed something was coming out of the water. The monster rose holding from the river and said, I am the spirit of this cave. I am the monster. It keeps the cave secret. Now, because you found me, do you promise to keep me a secret and the fear of the fear secret too? Mm -hmm. Dear said, okay. Fear said, okay. Jane said, okay. And Kiss said, okay. The monster said, okay. Well, if you promise to keep the secret of the cave only to yourself, then I'm going to let you leave the cave. Do we have a deal? And they said, yeah, we do have a deal. She said, okay, we're out for the prom now. Are we going to keep our prom? Dear said, yeah, let's keep our prom. Peter said, let's keep our prom. And Kit said, let's keep our prom. And Dave said, well, maybe we'll see him again. Jane said, probably not. I don't want to go through the hair because we're not going to call it and we're going to get prosecuted for trespassing on private prom. Dave said, yeah. So let's just go home. It was basically the next day, like any other day, so they went to school. And that's basically where the story ends for now. Your family loves you very much indeed. Your family loves you very much indeed. When you do something wrong, you get punished for it. But then you make it up in the end Because your family loves you very much And you will never let them go Because you belong to a family And you love your family very much indeed